What did the weird kid do to earn that reputation? The weird kid at my school always claimed she was a wizard and when someone spoke to her when she was casting a spell, screaming at the ground, she would turn around and either scream in thigh face or be slap them. I was new to the school at the time and I got screamed at cause I was legitimately worried that she might be hurt or something. He brought a live lobster to a middle school dance and let it go on the dance floor during the dance. It wasn't even a question of who would have done this it was Nate. Nate did it. There was this guy, KN class below me, who just ate everything. Once he went to the front of the classroom where the sink thingy is, took a big stack of paper towels back to his place and just started eating it mid-lesson. Another time he drank a Capri Sun in class and when he was finished he just ate the package with straw and everything. The weirdest thing was when he ate a toy car the teacher brought to show something. He just sat in front of the teacher's desk took the car from it and swallowed it without saying anything. Ars aroused. He thought he was a robot. Often you'd find him in the halls alone talking to electronics about destroying the human race or having a conversation with a locker. There was a girl in my school that got caught trying to color her entire tongue with a black sharpie in like 7th grade. It was honestly surreal to witness. The teacher was so confused and just walked her to the principal. A few years later she was expelled for drinking during school on multiple occasions. Set his arm on fire on a school trip to France. Sprayed his arm with deodorant for about a whole minute before getting someone to light it. It wouldn't go out until he used the tap in the bathroom to douse it with water. He ended up with blisters and permanent scarring. So the school trip ends and we go back to school the week after. All of a sudden me and four other kids get pulled into a classroom to be questioned by police and the head teacher. He basically told his mum that we did it to him. Obviously this did not stick. As we all had the same story, if I had Facebook I would look him up, see how life is for him nowadays. Frit people like that. A classmate in elementary broke his arm doing dumb crap and tried to frame us for it because he was embarrassed. He pulled some crap like that later in school life too. Dude would wear a stormtrooper costume and taped an old flip up phone to his arm and pretend to talk through it. This was an HS. He was particularly odd because he was like a born genius so head off and get bored in class and get up to some weird crap. Now this is a lad I'd like to hear some more stories about. Got caught whacking it in the school bathroom, then later got his dong stuck in a shampoo bottle. Guys, if you get your dong stuck in a shampoo bottle, and your mom has to take you to the hospital to remedy the situation, you need to keep that to yourselves. There is no teenager in the world who's going to keep that knowledge to themselves. The legend himself. Dressed as a pirate every day for 8 years, legit said he was leaving rural MI to move to the Caribbean and become a pirate. Changed his name to Blackbeard Ryan. Sounds like an absolute lad. Cut himself in class, waited for the blood to congeal a bit then ate it. Just writing that made me gag. Years later he got arrested for stabbing someone. Not gonna lie, I've done this but I didn't wait for it to congeal and I didn't do it in front of anybody. He had a notoriety for crapping his pants at least once a day and was super casual about it. I remember I was behind him in the hall one day when I saw massive turd plop out of his short legs. He looked back at it and just kept on strutting. He was at a higher level of not giving a frick dang you usually don't get to that point until you're old. When we were about 15, Harrison, we were all addressed by our surnames, decided one day to wrap his penis in adhesive tape during a biology lesson. I can't remember why, nor how he managed to remove it, but I was impressed. He also held the record for stabbing into the desk between each finger of his outstretched hand with a compass. A very sharp point, as fast as possible, despite hitting a finger at least once. He later became a distinguished surgeon. Word around the aura is that you have an adhesive dong. A girl in my year at school told us that she has a ghost in her bedroom and it told her that if she didn't brush her teeth it would burn her house down. Another girl said she wanted to have sex with our headmaster but she was like 7 at the time. And she used to scratch people in the face like a cat. I held the door open for her once and she flipped me off and called me a freaking bee. I want pills. He was very into the fantasy of war games. He would get super excited when anyone would play along with him. We had over 5000 students in the school and many people knew about him and would pretend to shoot at him for a laugh due to his antics. 
It all had to stop when someone pretended to shoot him with a bazooka and he jumped backwards down a flight of stairs from the explosion. Someone who is still unknown ran through the school with nothing on but a Spider-Man mask. He ran down the longest hallway we had, a quarter mile long. Willy flopping in the wind and no teacher or monitor could stop his majestic run. I salute the mysterious stranger and his majestic run. We were freshmen in an urban high school. He made increasingly wild claims like he had a bunch of illegal automatic weapons. He made poison darts and blow guns. His sensei could outrun an arrow fired from a bow and he was learning how to do it. He had a nitro kit in his trans and that he used to outrun police. He transferred to another school. The next I heard of him two years later he had crashed into a brick wall and died while fleeing the police. The report said he lost control when he engaged his nitro kit. Guess he wasn't lying about one thing. There is this kid who only listens to megalovania. Worst part is that he blasts at full volume and doesn't bother wearing headphones. So imagine you're in my shoes, taking a pee in the bathroom and 50% of the time you slowly hear megalovania getting louder and louder until it echoes into the room and there is that kid just standing there with his phone out staring at everyone while you fear for your safety. You sense you're gonna have a bad time. A girl had developed much earlier than everyone else. She had like double D's and severe acne in grade 6. She used to act out weird scenes from TV shows by herself at recess. She was the type who told everyone she had a BF who had a Porsche, but went to a different school again. We were like 12. People made fun of her for the usual things, and crap she did but one day things took a dark and strange turn. Some girl named Katie said something to her in line after lunch and she lost it. She smoked Katie in the head with her flute case and then hit some other kid who wasn't saying anything. She then spit chocolate milk all over a teacher who asked what was going on. Everyone was pretty shocked. But then she proceeded to sit down on the ground. Started to cry and pee her pants right there. The ground was kinda sloped away from the school so the puddle formed. And then created like a stream of pee all the way to the field. Maybe 15-20 feet. Everyone just stood there in shock at how many things had just happened in the span of 90 seconds. That's just so sad. There were so many examples but this one stuck out to me. There were twin boys in my high school who were just odd. We were in Spanish class together. And the teacher had this habit of making beeping sounds to get the attention of students who were talking. Etc. So one day that's happening and the teacher goes. Beep 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 and one of the twins shouts. Fires at E missiles crawls under his desk and runs out of the room. I thought it was so funny I about fell out of my chair laughing. That's freaking hilarious. That would have been a popular thing to do in my high school. Back in the day. Ate a battery in class. Pee in a bottle on a bus full of 60 kids. Chipped his tooth sucking on a tagin packet. All his siblings are named the same name. Martin. I'm not really sure what this guy did. But he was a fun guy to be around. Presumably. Just ugly and visibly mentally ill. Once he said he was going to bring a surprise to a pep rally and got talked to by police. But it turned out to just be a bucket full of candy. He got nominated homecoming king. And despite the principal trying to stop him from being elected. He won. He had a ton of school spirit. Too. It was really weird. He was known for doing a ton of odd crap but the only one I personally saw was when he ate a piece of gum that was stuck to the bottom of a kid's shoe. This was in high school. Alpha move. We had that horse girl. She always pranced around like a horse. Would snort in surprise. That sort of thing. In grade 5 and 6 she always wanted to play horses. My friends and I told her that was so lame. Then we would go off to play wolves instead. God that last line is so freaking funny. I was the president of an improv club at my high school. The weird kid was a member. Now, remember that episode of The Office when Michael would interrupt every improv scene as a cop? It was like that. Except this kid always had an evil dark magic theme. Characters in the scenes turned out to be his evil brother from the Dark Outlands. Imaginary props would turn into mythic swords formed from shadows. But this kid was so desperately unpopular. No one had the heart to kick him out of the club. This kid just wanted to LARP. Wore the same blue dress every single day to school. Sat in the hall by herself during all class parties. I knew she was a Jehovah's Witness. But it wasn't till I was older that I understood what that meant. 
and how isolating it must have been for her as an 8 year old, and up, the only one in a tiny farm town, with nobody even wanting to sit by her on the bus. I still feel it in my gut when I think about her from time to time. Five decades later, she never did anything to any of us. Sorry, Ramona. Sounds like a book I read in second grade. He would jerk off everywhere and be caught, like all the time, in class, on the football field, in the tuba room, you name it. He also claimed with all seriousness to everybody that he was dating the most popular girl at our school. She was in a long term relationship with another one of the popular kids so everyone knew he was full of crap but he stuck to his guns. I went to Parkland a few years back. In my first period we had Nicholas Cruz in our science class. Whenever he was called on, no matter what question, he'd always yell out B as in that's the answer. He sat in the middle of class. One girl kept flirting with him by stabbing him in the back of the head with a pencil while her friend laughs along. We graduated before he committed mass murder. In 4th grade this kid brought metal Chinese throwing stars to school and started throwing them around the classroom. He was gone for about a week then a few weeks after that he pulled out some nunchucks and hit a girl in the face. We didn't see him the rest of the year. 5th grade starts and there he is. It was show and tell and he brought in a small pet turtle. He was in front of class and he took the turtle out and said my turtle does tricks. Look he can break dance. He then put it on its back and spun it like a top. It went flying off the stool onto the hard ground and landed on its shell. He was called turtle or turtle boy the rest of school until he disappeared in junior high. This was in the 80s. Wonder how he turned out. Weird sucker. He didn't have to do much to make a room feel uncomfortable. I'm pretty sure he was high functioning autistic, but he was still a weirdo. On a day to day basis he would answer questions in class with long tangents. His cough was always like a seal. He brought his 3DS to class, and the teacher was always keeping a watchful eye over what he did on his phone or computer. I mean, he would get into arguments with the teacher about what he was doing with his devices. He even when we switched seats he was always close to the teacher. Nate, I'm not. I'm just checking my email. Once he was playing music, in class and forgot to plug in his headphones. Very clearly and loudly the Game Grumps animated intro played before it was muted. And I kind of felt like a dweeb for knowing what that was. But I would later find out he was caught watching pee in class. Hence why teachers had to watch him. Not normal pee either, I'm talking about Pikachu rule 34. He would go around asking people if you knew an alien that looked like X, Y, Z, and you really, really love them. Would you have sex with the alien? Left double quotation mark. Alien description changed a lot from question to question, and if you answered him he would keep asking the questions with different types of aliens. Key point being that you always shared an emotional connection with the alien. Poor kid was just trying to sort out his own alien fetish, I think. Just Ben 10 trying to find a date. This kid in elementary school who had to be first at everything. And no I don't mean like super competitive in sports or whatever. I mean he had to be first in line. First in school. First out. Etc. He would be in front of the school before it even opened to students. 6.30am. Class started at 7am. Waiting for that clock hand to touch 6.30 so he could sprint in and sit first in his class. He would sit near the very front of the class so he could be first in line. He would always, without a doubt, raise his hand as soon as the teacher asked a question to the class. Most of the time, he didn't even know the answer. The teacher would pick him and he'd start frantically looking for the answer or would make up crap. As soon as class ended, he would sprint across the whole school so he could be the first out the doors. Here's some more weirdness. Every day during recess. He would always hang out right next to the fence line closest to the school. As soon as the teacher would blow the whistle, he'd be right there immediately. The teacher would tell everyone to turn in their homework from the night before in this basket thing. He'd grab it and book it to go turn it in first. Problem was the basket was on the opposite side of the classroom. Remember, he sat up front. More often than not, I remember some poor soul or chair or desk getting in his way and getting trampled. He would always be the first to finish his tests or quizzes. I never really paid attention to his grades, but I assumed he did fine since he never failed a grade. I remember blazing though a math test, as soon as I stood up to turn it in, he jumped in front of me and handed in his test first. 
I don't even know if he finished it. That boy better be a NASCAR driver now. I just realized this was like 20 years ago and I still remember him in great detail. So that's where the guy that comments first on all the YouTube videos came from. The weird kid in my ear. Started out as basically a meme. He was odd. Socially isolated. Talked to himself a little. Nerdy. Terrible at sports. Cannon fodder for the popular crowd. We were. And still are. Friends though. Freshman year a joke starts going around that he should be prom king. Nobody takes it too seriously but it's considered funny. French teacher picks it up and supports it. Four years later he's been so heavily memed everyone loves him and he gets elected homecoming king. That actually ended kinda nicely. This was in 6th grade. She told everyone she was raised by wolves. Would draw a paw print on her palm to show as proof. Howled during recess and would growl at the younger kids. There were times when she'd chase around the younger kids and they looked to be having fun so I guess that was fine. But then she'd hide under the playground thing to meditate but she was really peeing herself. Then she'd come back out and continue to chase the kids. She also smelled really bad like the whole classroom stunk. Teacher pulled her aside a few times and asked about her hygiene but nothing changed. Plot twist. She really was raised by wolves. Ugh. This one kid at the tender age of 12 found a used condom in the gutter, washed it out, and then subsequently propositioned a girl in his class by showing it to her and asking her to have sex with him in the toilet's lunch. He was quiet at first so me and my friends became friends with him. Months later he confesses his love to one of them and gets rejected, and starts stalking us by finding out where we live and more to the point where we had to get restraining orders on him that he kept breaking. This happened to my sister and I too. It was in college. My sister was the one that had classes with him and eventually being stalked, but since I'm her identical twin and we lived in a duplex together, the judge granted both of us restraining orders. It's a shame when you give someone the benefit of the doubt, and then you realize why other people haven't. This was in middle school. 8th grade. Me and the kid weren't really friends but were well acquainted with each other as we had a lot of classes together. One morning, yes early morning, we go to our first class. There were big tables with two chairs on each side so nothing was really separating us. My table was in the back of the room and he sat right next to me. Some time passes and I suddenly hear small but fast movements. I turn to see this kid literally jerking off next to me. And this wasn't any subtle jerk this was one of those I am in the zone jerks. I scream and the other two across from us realize what's happening and they back away as quick as possible. One just falls out of her chair and starts scurrying to the front of the room. He gets pulled out of class and a few weeks later everyone is calling him the math beta because we were in math class when this happened. Looking back now it was absolutely hilarious. The lads in my year at school went through a phase of cutting a hole in their front pocket so they could wank off in class. My year was weird as freak. So many stories like this. In high school our weird kid was a guy who was legally blind but could see general shapes and light. He was obsessed with the idea that he would be a truck driver. Constantly made engine noises all the time. He was also grossly sexual towards anyone he thought sounded female would feel up girls and say he didn't know because he couldn't see what he was touching. He did that to a couple of my friends. I was nice to him for a while but he kept hitting on me bc my voice was high and eventually I actively dodged him in the halls. I felt kinda bad for him though. Lots of people would just go silent and still if he approached because he was so creepy. I did some low level parker to get away from him once. I think he might have been overcompensating for being blind and I did want to be nice to him. But he also definitely was a low-key sexual predator because how does the school prove the blind kid really is groping them and not accidentally brushing them when he he's trying to find his way? Man what a dick hole. Guy in my class is blind and I'm sure this is not a normal behavior. In high school a kid had upper teeth like a horse. Always out of his mouth and never brushed them. When a teacher was doing roll call and said if we had nicknames or alternate names we wanted to be called his name was called and he said I want to be called Shadow like an edgelord. He always never did schoolwork and instead watched Pokemon in class and played Pokemon while walking around the halls. He never washed his hands after going to the washroom and multiple times I heard him moaning in the washroom stalls about different Pokemon and trainers. Such as Gardevia, Lopany, Leafian, 
Misty, Jesse, and a lot more. Every so often you'd also see him choking his chicken in the middle of class while staring at either the teacher or some girls in the class. Got into a fight with someone because he thought he was tough and wanted to show off to a girl. Also never showered. This was all in grade 12. Also would like to mention, I'm not bashing Pokemon. I freaking love Pokemon. This one kid all throughout grade school and high school used to grab pens pencils and try to sit on them in front of everyone whenever the teacher wasn't watching. He'd just hold them with one hand and start to sit on the end, or just lean over the desk and try to jam them up his poop chute. He always did this weird kinda wheezy laugh when he did it, even looking away. You can't unsee that crap. Also one chick in high school had rumors go around about her having a 70s bush. This led to her suddenly interrupting chemistry class to stand on her desk and scream I don't have a freaking 70s bush then drop trow and reveal her assets to the entire class, teacher and all. Ironically, her crap poofed out like her afro as she indeed had a 70s bush. That's wild that she went to the effort to prove she didn't have a big bush in such a humiliating way, to indeed, have a big bush. When I was in junior, hi there was this really awkward girl, she wasn't labeled weird yet but she was so socially awkward it separated her from everyone. At some point she started withdrawing even more from everyone around her and nobody even noticed. Then it all came to a head when she showed up at school ranting and raving about how she had made a sacrifice to the dark realm and we were all going to suffer. The teachers put her in the principal's office and her mother came to get her. She didn't return to school for almost 2 months. When she finally returned she had gone full weirdo. Never go full weirdo. She started licking people in the hall and talking about how she was intelligent enough to get away with murdering the teacher. In front of the teacher. People just kind of dismissed her after that. At least for a few years. The year we started GR. 10 she came to school with a baby. Everyone was shocked. She never said who the dad was but that it was someone from our grade. We never found out who because she never said and no one fessed up to sleeping with the weirdest girl in town. 16 years later a friend who still lives in town told me the mystery had been solved. Her baby daddy was the former elementary weird kid who had been blessed with a godly puberty that we all wish for but never get and retained all the best qualities of an amazing human. He had taken pity on her and befriended her quietly over the year and they ended up hooking up once. Use protection folks. He tried to do right by her but 16 years later he took custody of the kid because her parents were just too old and she was still incredibly weird and stable. What a story not gonna lie. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.